Amber Heard is making headlines for her infamous divorce from Johnny Depp, but it's not the first time she's been on the receiving end of public scrutiny. Long before the media and her critics started questioning whether Heard was a victim or a villain, she was making waves in Hollywood, and not the good kind. Heard's haters have admitted that she's a great actress. They're giving Amber credit for actually managing to convince the world that she was a good person. I am a, um, a jumble of many, 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 many things. A collection of good and bad. Before Amber Heard became Mrs. Depp, she had a much less flattering title, a homewrecker. When Johnny Depp and his partner of over a decade, Vanessa Paradis, announced they were separating in 2012, the actor's fans were devastated. That same year, Amber Heard confirmed that she'd started seeing the actor. She was immediately branded as the cause of Johnny's breakup. A decade later, it happened again. Amber's Aquaman co-star and good friend Jason Momoa announced his divorce from his wife. Netizens were convinced she'd played a role in that split, too, because he and Heard had spent so much time together offset. The rumors gained more traction when Heard was accused of being unfaithful during her marriage to Depp. Allegedly, Amber cheated with both Cara Delevingne and Elon Musk. Yet the tech giant insists that he and the actress only started dating after her divorce. The relationship lasted a year, and it was branded one of the richest rebounds in the world. While Amber was with Elon, he offered to pay for a full-time security detail for her. When the world found out, Amber was immediately accused of using men. A few years previously, she did something similar. Heard allowed one of her friends to stay in her husband's house for months without ever paying rent. Her failed relationship with Depp isn't the only reason the internet is so ambivalent towards Amber. The thing is, she almost ruined Johnny's career, and for millions of fans, it was too much. Because of claims of abuse that Amber made against her ex, Depp was fired from two of his biggest film franchises, Fantastic Beasts and Pirates of the Caribbean. Now his fans are hitting back. They are convinced that Amber lied about her marriage to intentionally hurt the actor, so they've tried to even the scoreboard. Three years ago, a petition was created to get the actress removed from her role in the Aquaman franchise. Over 45,000 people signed it within three months. Today, over two million people have added to the call to have Amber fired. The signatures prove that many netizens across the globe consider Amber to be the real villain, because unlike Depp, she has a history of violence. In 2009, the actress was seen getting physically aggressive with her longtime girlfriend, Tacia Van Rie, at an airport. Heard was accused of misdemeanor assault in the fourth degree. But her run-in with police did nothing to quell Amber's infamous temper. According to the actress's former personal assistant, Heard was a brutal and greedy employer, too. Kate James, who worked for Heard for three years, revealed that her former boss constantly yelled at and belittled her. She described Amber as a person filled with blind rage. She screamed at me once in person, multiple times screaming at me over the phone, barrages of abusive um, text messages. She put her face approximately four inches from my face, and she was spitting in my face. James even admitted that Amber's own family could fall victim to the actress's dark side, because a few years ago, it was revealed that Heard had been aggressive towards her younger sister. The fallout was caught on film. Okay, did you really start the fight with your sister, or did she start it? For real, for real, for real. We're not gonna talk about that! Uh, she yes. really did whoop your butt. Yet, rather than showing regret about her behavior, Amber laughs it off. She once admitted in an interview that her temper was so bad, her friends started warning her potential boyfriends to be careful. Whenever my old friends meet someone I'm involved with romantically, they immediately warn them, she may look refined, but when she's angry, she can go trailer park really fast. Because behind Amber's beauty is an unexpected surprise. She loves guns, and it's all thanks to her father. As a teenager in Texas, Amber's dad would scare off any local boys wanting to date his daughter, and he made sure she knew how to handle weapons, too. He didn't have a son, and so I was up for the job. I was his hunting, fishing, and camping buddy growing up. I'm a good shot, and I love guns. I own several. Yet, even though she has some traditionally masculine interests, Amber considers herself incredibly feminine. At the same time, she totally refuses to identify or label her sexuality. It's a massive point of contention for many of her LGBTQ followers who wish the actress would use her fame to defend the community she's part of. A decade ago, Amber mentioned in an interview that she was seeing a woman, and the LGBT community praised her for her honesty. But almost immediately after the revelation, the actress backtracked and blamed her job. So many people, studio execs, agents, advisors, didn't want this coming before my name. Everyone said, you're throwing it all away. You can't do this to your career. 
By 2017, she began shutting down any questions about her sexuality, to the massive disappointment of her fans. I don't identify as anything. I'm a person. I like who I like. She failed to become a face of LGBT, but gives hope to feminists. The Aquaman star then shocked her fans when she revealed that she'd become a single mother. Heard announced on social media that she'd had a daughter by surrogacy, but refused to reveal who the father was. At the time, she was dating a cinematographer called Bianca Bussi, and her divorce proceedings were splattered all over international headlines. It led to a lot of confusion. Some commentators were concerned about the timing of the birth, because Amber's in the middle of a drawn-out and ugly court case. There's speculation that the child is an attempt at damage control, because after proof surfaced in court that the actress had physically hurt her ex-husband, Amber's image was definitely not wholesome. So her naysayers question whether she can be a good mom to her baby girl and raise her in a healthy environment. And they have good arguments to back those concerns. In 2015, Amber couldn't provide decent care for her dogs. The actress illegally brought them to Australia, disrespecting the country's laws and putting her dogs under the threat of euthanasia. The criticism and hatred leveled against Amber isn't solely the result of the actress's unusual personal life. She's also started to develop a bad reputation in Hollywood. The internet is filled with video compilations of the actress being rude and arrogant in press interviews. Hold on one second. Uh, Courtney, I can't, I, I really, I can't do this if people are coming in and out of the door. It's really distracting. Extremely. They have had the time. <laughs> okay. It's made her remaining fans disappointed in the actress because these videos are proof that she behaves in a way that cannot always be defended. But that doesn't mean it can't be explained. A psychologist called Dr. Curry testified that the actress suffers from histrionic personality disorder. The doctor explained, These people have this anger. They tend to be very passive-aggressive, self-indulgent, very self-centered. They use manipulation tactics to get their needs met. There can be a lot of cruelty. The actress has displayed variations of this behavior for years. She's a need for conflict. She's a need for violence. It erupts out of nowhere. These characteristics might have developed as a result of her upbringing, because while she owes her love of guns to her dad, he had a very dark side too. Amber's father was incredibly strict and struggled with addiction. His behavior cost Amber the most important person in her life. He's an addict and an alcoholic, and he was very violent, but I love him very much. Heard also shared that her father was extremely aggressive with her mom until her last days. While her traumatic childhood doesn't make her behavior acceptable, it does explain a lot. It proves that Amber's path to becoming a bad guy was years in the making. What's important now is her future. Hopefully some good can come out of Amber's drama, and she and those she's hurt 